Hi everyone, it's Chelsea. Uh, it's been a long time since an update. Uh, we're coming up to four years when I discovered that I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, so it has been a long journey. I um, am back to work, which has been great because that was a huge worry for me. Uh, however, it has taken a long time uh, in getting back to work and being able to integrate life into that as well. So coming home very, very tired, um, you know, your memory's not the same. So having to find new ways of remembering things at work and how to complete them. Pacing yourself, taking lots of breaks, ensuring you're eating healthy. All these things uh, have helped me to be well. And as of like, I would say this past year, if not maybe six months, starting to incorporate some more physical activity um, after work. Uh, because I know what it's like to feel so, so weak. So I'm trying my best to strengthen myself up. Um, I would also like in the near future to have a family. So that's pro probably the, well, it is the motivation for, for be gaining my strength. Um, and following up with the naturopath as well in terms of my hormones, which have been out of whack uh, because of the chemotherapy, which uh, uh, most of you know that does happen to uh, a lot of women and men for that matter. So working on what I can do to improve uh, those things. Um, but my energy has, is still an issue. It is not something, I am not the Chelsea I once was. I used to be able to go, 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 go. I am tired. I am tired all the time. Um, not, and it's, you, I sleep a lot. So I've got my little Fitbit. I uh, check that all every night to see I'm sleeping about eight and a half hours a night. I know people don't judge me, but that's what I need. Um, anything less than that. And I am just not myself. I'm tired. I'm dragging. And, um, that's not what it used to be. So don't get frustrated with yourself. You just have to find ways around it. So I do say no to certain things that I know will cause me to be really tired the next day or exhausted. It's just not worth it. So I do say no. Um, but I do say yes to a lot of other things too, right? So instead of, uh, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm scared. No, heck, do it. You don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow. Do it. Let's have a great time. So that's been a, a good uh, into, new part to my life is saying a lot more yeses to the great things and saying no to stuff that does tire you out and exhausting relationships. No, I don't want to, I can't, I can't spend the time with you. It's not worth my, my investment to my health. So everything is going really well. As you can see, super duper long hair. It was never, um, so the curls have kind of, the tight curls have kind of gone, um, but there is still a, a wave to it. Every, I've been growing my hair out uh, because I didn't have it. I guess I just want it long. So, uh, and I always had it short before. So this has been kind of fun too. A complete and new Chelsea. So thank you so much for everybody. I hope everyone's doing well in their journeys as well. And always so nice to hear your comments and be able to comment back. Thank you. Be well to yourself.